I'm here at the Connected Fleet event here in Atlanta. I'm here with Mauricio Stella, who manages data for the Connected Vehicle Services at Volvo USA, which includes Mack trucks, Volvo trucks, and Mack trucks. And I'd like to start out by asking you a question about what kind of data are you collecting right now or are you seeing uh, from the fleet right now that's most interesting to you? It's hard to talk about this without talking about the demographics, right? If you look at the demographics of our drivers today, they're aging, and the new generation is not looking forward to replace them. And that's a challenge, right? So, as today, we have to find ways to do that. It's one way as OEMs, we have to make the trucks easier to maneuver mm -hmm. or be handled by those people and more interesting as well. A lot of people see the sort of end game of this in a place where we don't have truck drivers anymore. What do you say to that vision of the future and do you think that the driver will ever be completely eliminated from the fleet? No, no, no. I, I'm a data guy. Okay. Right? So I base my conclusions based on data. So at this point, based on data, there is no affirmation is possible. Everything could happen at this point, right? We can predict a little bit using some of the data collected from the vehicles that are already autonomous, like airplanes. Airplanes are autonomous for 20 years. Right. And we still need a pilot and a co-pilot. Of course. Right? So I... And, well, and, and also there, there's another flip side of that, which is the automation paradox, which is that the more automated it becomes, the less the human exactly. being knows how to operate it. What I, we see that we're going to be in the same autonomous for a long time. What same autonomous means? means that parts of the operation will be autonomous. Like maybe, maybe, and then now I'm, I'm moving from affirmation, no, predict, prediction maybe, and now possibilities. So we're moving to the point that trucks might be autonomous when they're in the interstates, like ramping out and ramping in, right? So there is autonomous, but they still need a driver, right? So that's, I think, one way. More we get data about it, more we can predict. So I believe the platooning is the next step when we start seeing how the drivers behave with this. And just so we can break it down, platooning being the idea that maybe you'd have one truck at the beginning yes. of a caravan of trucks yes. with one driver and maybe 10 tractor trailers, let's say. Yeah, but every, the platooning means every single truck of those 10, take your example, will be having, uh, we're going to have a driver. Ah, I see, okay. There is no automatic. Right, it's not the, fully autonomous it's yet. It's not the full right. autonomous. It's, it's like a supervision role. Got it. Right? The first driver is the real driver, the other one's like supervision. If something happens, it's, if the first truck breaks, the mm -hmm. other is going to break as well. If the speed is going to speed there as well. But they're always going to have someone to be there. Oh, if something happened, I have to take control, right? So that will be one good step to understanding how people. Because technology is about people, how the people is going to react to technology, right? And that wants to be the next step yeah, from there. Great. Well, Mauricio, I thank you for your time, You're and uh, we look forward to your presentation a little later today. Okay. Thank, thank you. you.